So let's look at a statement the former uh, CIA director made in 1981 or around there, William Casey. He said, we'll know our disinformation program is complete when everything the American public believes is false. U.S. officials won't say if a new anti-Russia propaganda project is targeting Americans. The newly created Global Engagement Center focus and intent is foreign audiences, but officials won't rule out propagandizing Americans and funding American journalists. Well, in, in my neck of the woods of Montana, the old days they used to call those uh, whore houses, and unfortunately right now, both houses have a bunch of whores in them, both in Washington, D.C. Now, that may be strong, day, but I don't know that you and I possess the language to tell people how dangerous and how late in the game it is. In other words, ladies and gentlemen, your government is on record stating they're going to lie to us. As George Orwell said, they who control the past basically uh, determine the future. Uh, it was Swinton's famous statement that uh, the, uh, the press is nothing, for, nothing more than high-class prostitutes. So the vassals of rich men. So, Dave, as we go on the air tonight or whenever this will play, you know, obviously it plays when it plays, but what we're seeing and what we're facing is unintended consequences, but also unimaginable consequences. Being in the uh, information uh, field as you have, as I have, being in the, if you will, prepping uh, mindset for the last 25 years, it's really critical that people understand that the, the narrative is controlled by big money, and the narrative is controlled totally, in my opinion, by the Luciferians in control of the world. Now, I want to give a, a wonderful passage from the Bible. The whole world lies in the evil one. That's what Jesus said. He didn't say part of it. He didn't say a portion of it. He didn't say some of it. He didn't say, you know, just now and then. The entire world, that, that which its systems, its finances, is controlled. So here is the thing. And you and I were talking a little bit before we started uh, hitting the subject matter. I have never seen such a lack of concern by uh, professing Christians as to the last eight years with the slaughter of the innocents, both whether it's abortion, whether it's the selling of baby parts, the uh, flavoring, the human enhancement. Now we're dealing with full-scale cannibalism. We're dealing with Hollywood's total profession of Hail Satan, Saturday Night Live mocking, and then obviously some of the biggest names in Hollywood just coming right out and saying Hail Satan. So what we're seeing, in my opinion, is the total uh, portals, uh, stargates, the gateways of hell opening, and the mind of man cannot even conceive. In the physical, Dave, it's hard for people to uh, believe anything because they've been controlled by the propaganda machine. It isn't interesting. You've written at length in your columns of, of uh, the Clintons, obviously nefarious uh, uh, dealings with the Russians on the Iranian and Nevada, etc. And yet, unless the excuse me, unless President Trump takes control of the narrative, he he is going to basically be overwhelmed. This is Saul Alinsky on steroids, and the fact that that demoness. Uh, the lady that ran for president, I don't even want to use her name because she's so disgusting that, in my opinion, that she can basically say that Donald Trump's going to get impeached. He's making, uh, he has to move against the under, if you will, the undercurrent, the fifth column that's working against him night and day. And, you know, everybody made a big deal out of the red lights on the White House. One of the ways you check for hidden cameras, you use laser beams. And you can basically scan a wall with a laser beam. And if, there's an, if there is a, any form of lens, even a pinhole lens, it'll reflect. It'll look like, you know, hitting a flashlight in a mirror kind of thing, whether it's red light. And some of the different uh, uh, lasers have different wavelengths, so you have to use different colored lasers. But whether that's the reason or not, I would say this. It's, it's, I think Sean Hannity said 93% of everybody in government are basically Obama appointees, 93%. Mm. I wasn't now, I know that. God loves those kind of odds. Yeah, uh, and that, that was just given to me a little bit ago. Stunning. So the point being 
is is that look at look at the traitors that are surrounding Trump. Look at the Paul Ryans. Look at look at McCain. Look at all these people. I mean, you can go on the internet and you brought it up. Look at ISIS and the leaders of ISIS. You know, and all the the hanky panky. Which man has been more proactive, in my opinion, than any other, in slam, slamming Donald Trump? Besides, obviously, the rhinos. You know, uh, Republicans in name only. But is John McCain? So here's the thing. We're dealing right now with the complete uh, flushing out of the deep state, in my opinion. In my opinion, obviously, everything that's been hidden, quoting Jesus, is being revealed. And the things that are important is this, that unfortunately, instead of repenting, instead of crying out to God for his mercy, people are so ho-hum. You probably saw one in Oregon. Was it today that they kicked the whites off campus? Yes. You know? And the crybabies, where, where, where are the, uh, uh, quote, all the men in the midst of thee are women? By the way, that was a word from the Holy Bible that in these end times that you would have an effeminization of men. Now, I got news for you. You don't have uh, Middle Easterners. You don't have Russian Spetsnaz. You don't have Chinese uh, trained and hardened soldiers uh, basically worried about what color their lipstick is going to be or their uh, are they integrating women or transgendered individuals into the service? We're, we're at the point now, Dave, where everything is in play. You and I have written, uh, been on talk radio uh, for years, um, and what I think is important, all the things, every single subject that you've talked about, I've talked about, Alex has talked about, everybody on talk radio, I'm not just uh, pointing the finger at us, I'm just saying for the sake of tonight's conversation, we've been talking about the rods that would be placed into the reactor. Now, the reactor is critical. You know, the rods are coming out, the graphite rods which control the fission process, you know, we're going full-scale wild weasel, to quote Hawk. So the point is, is that what I, I think has to be gotten through to people is, is that this is as dangerous as it was two years ago, this is a multiplied danger period. Well, I think they're making their move in a preemptory manner right now. I agree with that as it gets closer and closer. But here's what I don't think people understand. There's physical evil and there's supernatural evil. Where the supernatural evil used to stay in the shadows and lurk in the world of the occult and the secret ceremonies of the secret societies, now it's all in play. And the blood of the innocents, Dave, is, is what is crying out. You know, and, and I, I want to share this with people. When you're dealing with Seth Rich, you're dealing with the cover-up of an active murder that took place. Let's quit beating around the bush and look at this. If, if there was nothing to it, would all these people be still making the threats, panicked? Deborah Wasserman, Schultz over the missing computer, Donna Brazil, all of the uh, moving assets that supposedly uh, going on behind the scenes. And what's, what's interesting to me is, is that still we have open criminality absolutely prosecutable criminality, yet uh, the law enforcement, federal law enforcement agencies have had their hands tied because of the appointees of the Obama nation. So, you know, again, it's interesting because Saul Alinsky's plan, okay, and obviously Obama was a student of his, so was Hillary Clinton, so are the whole ilk of all the socio-communist, Islamo-fascist takeover kings and, and queens that are behind the scenes at this point. Some of them no longer behind the scenes, but it's simply to overwhelm. And that's why the people of God, look, whether you like the fact that Donald Trump is president or not, he's talking about the, the uh, protection of Christians. He's talking about stopping the persecution of Christians. He's, he's honoring God. He's not out there praising some foreign god of millions of people, 1.3 billion people, you know, it, it's, it's, he's honoring the very foundations of this country. He has deep respect for the military. And what did, uh, you know, uh, the entity do, the former occupant in the White House? He sullied, he destroyed, he, he uh, minimalized, he marginalized, and he basically decimated 
the country's values. Now, I don't give a darn, and I'll try and be very, you know, candid but not uh, difficult for your show. I don't want you to get any flack because of what I want to say. And, Dave, I wish I could be as blunt as it's possible to be, but even then I don't know that it would wake people up. Seth Rich was murdered. And by the way, I would hope that uh, President Trump would open up uh, Andrew Breitbart's murder, which, in, uh, interestingly enough, took place within, I believe, an hour after National Defense Authorization, whatever, is it 1867, was mm -hmm. put into place. Yes, it was. Uh, uh, Tom Clancy. All the different murders that have been taking place. Listen, this is a blood-soaked nation. This is a nation drenched in blood. This is a nation with blood guiltiness. And when people and the mainstream whores, the press, and again, I used to call them vomit brokers. Now I'm calling them regurgitants, okay? Uh, I, you know, there's nothing, I can't even put it into terms. Because, by the way, that article that I quoted, U.S. officials won't say if a new anti-Russia propaganda project is targeting Americans. That's from The Nation magazine. So what we know is this, Dave. We know that America is subject to, uh, subjected to continual mind control, continual leftist propaganda, to continual sexualization of the children.